A question that commonly gets asked at a presentation on Google Docs is, can I upload my own documents into it instead of waiting for creating them inside Google Docs? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, Google has a very sophisticated upload procedure. Let's take a look. Now again, I'm on the Google Docs homepage, and I'm going to up in the upper left-hand corner here, I'm going to click on the button that says Upload. Now I have on this page, it gives me a show conversion limitations and supported file types. I'm going to click on that to expand it. This just gives me some limits. So I can have documents up to 500K. I can have presentations up to 10 megabytes. They tend to include pictures, so that's why that's expanded. Spreadsheets up to 1 megabyte and PDF files up to 10 megabytes. Now, I want to select a file to upload, so I'm going to click on Select File to Upload, and it opens up a uh, you know, browser on your own uh, drive on your computer. I want to upload this Moodle Explained with Lego Slide Share. This is a really, I found recently, a very, very good PowerPoint. And I'm going to open that. And I also want to select more because that particular PowerPoint has a a script that goes along with it that is a Word document and I, I'd like to have that up with this document at the same time. Well if I want to do that I would just select more files. I'm going to Moodle Explain Lego Text, open that. Now I have both files uh, already queued and ready to download and the last thing I want to do is I want to be able to find it later. Now I have over 350 documents. If I don't put documents away in folders, I'll have to use the search function a lot, and that can even get confusing. So Google gives you an opportunity to put things in folders immediately. I go down to the lower, lower right left-hand corner. It says No Folder, and I can select which folder. So I'm going to say Sample Folder, and OK. And now it says Sample Folder, and I'm going to hit Start Upload. Now this may take some time, so I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, Moodle has finished uploading both documents or into my homepage. Let's go back to Google Docs homepage, and here's my sample folder. I'm going to open the sample folder. I'll just hit the triangle and open it up like that. And here I have Moodle explained. Uh, the, the text part and the actual presentation. If I click on the presentation, there's my PowerPoint converted. Let me let finish there. Converted to use with Google. Looks just like PowerPoint. If I want to do a presentation, I can hit start presentation and it will go into a presentation just like it would with PowerPoint. Let me close that. I also want to take a look, I'll go back to my Google Docs homepage, and I want to take a look at my text document I uploaded. This wasn't a Word document, it was just text, so it's not really formatted, but here I have the script to the entire presentation uploaded in the end. Didn't do any typing. And I have it already inside a folder so that I can find it later in, in whatever folder I decide to put it in. Google Docs offers an opportunity for you to take your existing lesson plans, your PowerPoints, your documents, your Word documents, your any lessons you've made, put them into Google. Now you have them uh, able to be collaborated with and you can assign them to multiple groups of students, work on the same document, all the host of advantages by going into cloud computing that Google Doc offers you.